Don't, don't get into real estate if you're not disciplined. Don't get into real estate if you're not gonna do these things. If you're watching this, do not get real estate. Do not sign for a license. Just, just give don't. up your just just give up your license altogether. Just walk away. Why? <laughs> this sounds easy, but apparently it's not. Showing up, right, is half the battle. I need the energy, I need to be in the office, I need to be with my peers, I need big thinkers. And you just don't know what you don't know. But the be beauty of it is that once you do know, you know it. It's, it's not rocket science. I feel like people aren't disciplined enough. They don't have systems in place to make sure that their day goes about how it should go. I mean, most people get into this job for freedom, right? You realize you're your own boss, but have you ever had a real estate boss before? Your boss sucks. You're the boss. No one's telling you to get up for work. Wake up at 7, get to the office by 9, 10 every day. A lot of uh -huh. people don't do that. They don't, just don't have a schedule. Correct. I don't think it's a time thing. It's just how you utilize that 24 hours. You're concerned about getting fired and there goes your paycheck. But I guess when you're not making money already as a new real estate agent, what, what nothing you, has changed. What are you going to do? Are you gonna get, <laughs> you're going to get fired from not making money? I think it's just easy to stay fired. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cool part of being a realtor. Like every day you're unemployed. If you don't have a client, you're technically, you don't have nothing going on. Yeah. You don't work for anyone. If you're not in the middle of a deal, you're technically unemployed. Yeah. I agree with that. It kind of scares me. That's why yeah. I think I'm always. I haven't been out of a deal for a while. What's your goal this year? 60 we homes. Said, uh, 60, said, homes. 60 homes. What did you guys do last year? 28. 28? Yeah. How many homes did you sell the first half of the year, third quarter, and fourth quarter? I don't know. I think for like most realtors business, that third quarter pickup is, is super strong. I think, I mean, third quarter for us last year was pretty crazy like i want to say over at least 30 percent of our deals was in that nice third quarter. but the, the, how we pushed that into this year is that we you know we didn't fully take off through the holidays and so yeah. and i feel like starting off the year like a lot of people have a rough start yeah and have like no deals till what february march yeah and so we want we didn't want to repeat that again yeah because we did that for the last two years before yeah. that so i think like it takes about maybe 30 hours to work with a buyer from start to close, roughly including showings. Right? Yeah, well, you know, like I showed 255 homes last year and I did 28 deals to get a client into contract. And a showing is like less than half an hour. Yeah, 15 minutes, 18 minutes, and then they're usually in the same neighborhood, like cluster. Yeah. And your consult. Yeah. All the other contract walking disclosure. So, I mean, yeah, if we had to say 30 minutes per home, that's nine homes. What is that? I'm not good at math here. <laughs> So if it's 30, 30 minutes hours, per home, 30 minutes per home times nine homes, how much time so have five, I invested five in that client? Four, four and a half hours. <laughs> four and a half hours. And then I That's why we're not accountants. Yeah. <laughs> and then I always do a 45 minute initial console, yeah. right? Where we do a deep dive. So what is that? Four and a half hours plus a 44. It's five hours. Uh, 45 minutes. So five, five hours. Let's call it five hours. Yeah. Four, being a really good agent is being able to overuse the word pivot, but adjust to the market quickly. And it, like right now, our team is going all in, sending the right message out to our consumers that, hey, you should look at what buying looks like right now because it's getting pretty crazy out there. Like yep. here's a small op window opportunity for you to like strike before everyone else gets in. Looking a month later from now, when you look back on the MLS, where last half year, average offer was one. But now you're going to see like freaking five, six, ten offers, yeah. and then people will get wind of that, and boom, everyone's back in the market again.